I want to announce that the leaders of both parties in both chambers have reached an agreement that will reduce the deficit and avoid default. President Obama announced his debt deal with House Speaker John Boehner in a dramatic quote about the intensity of the cuts in the deal. The problem is that his statement was an outright lie. <laughs> The result would be the lowest level of annual domestic spending since Dwight Eisenhower was president. Obama's statement sounds good, but a White House memo on the deal reveals Obama's statement to be false. It reads that the deal, quote, reduces domestic discretionary spending to its lowest level since Eisenhower. These discretionary caps will be put on track to reduce non-defense discretionary spending to its lowest level since Dwight Eisenhower was president, close quote. That sounds similar. But non-defense discretionary spending is only one-eighth of total federal spending. Total federal spending is the highest it's been since World War II, both in real dollar terms and in terms of percentage of gross domestic product. And this deficit deal would do nothing to change the perpetual increase in spending. It would pair only $900 billion from the estimated $8 trillion in expected deficits over the next 10 years and establish a commission to come up with another trillion and a half in cuts on the increases. It's interesting that the president failed to mention that he was only talking about non-defense discretionary spending, and that he failed to mention how much the debt limit would be increased by the deal. The debt limit would be increased by up to $2.4 trillion on top of the $14.3 trillion we already have, and that would just tide us over until after the 2012 elections. Maybe. So you can see why he failed to mention that number. But there's no excuse for making such a blatant lie about the level of federal government spending. The White House has an impossible task, admittedly. Obama's trying to make his policy of deficit spending forever look like the responsible course. And nobody can accomplish that task.